A study by Amnesty International has found that 682 people were executed worldwide last year, just two more than the number of death sentences handed down across the globe the year before. The rights group said Vietnam stopped executions due to a lack of lethal injections. Well, there was a halt in executions in, in Vietnam during 2012 because um, before 2012 um, they um, achieved all of their drugs to be used in executions from EU countries and a ban on the export of drugs to be used in executions came into force in the EU in 2012. Belarus is the only country in Europe that still has the death penalty on its statute books. At least three people were executed there behind closed doors in 2012. There's a huge amount of international pressure on, on Belarus at the moment, including from the EU, from, um, from the Council of Europe, and also from other former Soviet countries. It appears to be having very little impact, and they execute people in complete secrecy. At least 21 countries carried out executions last year. The top five death penalty nations are China, Iran, Iraq, Saudi Arabia, and the USA, with the Chinese judicial system putting more people to death and the rest of the world put together, according to Amnesty. We are crossing now with Camilla Albushoka in London. Welcome on Euronews. You had to flee Iran in 2006 and now you are campaigning for the freedom of two of your cousins and three of your best friends sentenced to death in Iran. Why they were condemned to death? Because they are cultural activities and the regime arrested them, just accused them of having contact with uh, foreigners, uh, corruption on the earth, and uh, uh, enmity of God, but the fact that the regime wants to suppress the voices of Ahwazis because Ahwazis is occupied by Iranian regime, the death penalty upholds so they can execute at any time. Can you tell me of your experience? Why did you leave Iran in 2006? In 2005, I arrested by the regime in the uh, uh, protest in Ahwaz. Then after that, they freed me by bill. In 2006, uh, they attacked they raided my family and killed my uncle and arrested all my family members. So I had only one option, just leave the country. Will you ask a ban on that penalty at international level? We need the ban the death penalty in Iran because the, regime, the majority of people who executed by the regime are activists. According to United Nations in 2012, 580 people executed by the regime, but it is not include the people who killed in secret detention or people who killed under torture. You have an information on this? Uh, yes, I do. One of them is my cousin, Mr. Nasser al Bushoka Dorfeshan, 19 years old, killed on 13 January 2012. But his name was not mentioned on the list of execution. Uh, three of my relatives killed in June in 2012 but their, na their name was, were not mentioned on the death penalty decisions. But there are other cases, like Mr. Mohammed Kabi, killed in Susa under torture, but his name was not on the uh, detention list. The execution of public in Iran, often in sports stadium, what is the reaction of the public on them? The public feel not happy with that uh, policy, but no one can uh, be disagree because the regime is a police state, is run by intelligence services, so no one can be disagree. So definitely people are not happy. Thank you so much, Kamil Boshoka, for being on Euronews. My best pleasure and I appreciate your time.